Hey math lovers, I am Jesse. If you have an interest in problem solving and if you know the basic geometry and the basic algebraic calculations, then here I am ready with an interesting problem. We have a rectangle. Inside this rectangle, I am drawing two lines to divide the rectangle into three smaller rectangles. In this whole diagram, two sides are given as 5 meters and 6 meters as shown in the figure. Also, the areas of rectangle at both the ends are given as 12 meters square and 16 meters square. Now, my problem is, what is the area of the rectangle in the middle? If you want to attempt the problem, pause the video and just give it a try. And the solution is right here. Let's put some notations to each vertex. I am naming the outermost rectangle as ABCD and the inner yellow colored rectangle as PQRS. Now we are going to analyze the problem. We have the sides AQ equal to 5 meters and the side CP equal to 6 meters. And then the area of the rectangle APSD is 12 meters square and for the rectangle QBCR, the area is 16 meters square. Now, what exactly is our aim? It is nothing but to find the area of the rectangle PQRS. This is the structure of our problem, so always keep in mind. For calculation, let's take the side PQ equal to X meters. Then we get the side AP equal to 5 minus X meters and the side C are equal to 6 minus x meters. But still, we don't have any idea about the height of the rectangles. So let's take BC equal to y meters, and thus AD also equal to y meters. Now using this data, calculate the areas of rectangles at both the ends. First, I am taking the rectangle APSD. Clearly, the area will be 5 minus x into y, which is equal to 12 meters square. Put this as equation 1. Similarly, for the second rectangle QBCR, the area will be 6 minus x into y, which is equal to 16 meters square. Put this as equation 2. Now compare both the equations we have. Opening the brackets, the first equation will turn to 5y minus xy equal to 12, and the second equation will turn to 6y minus xy equal to 16. I am putting them as equation 3 and equation 4. As you can see, the term minus xy is common in both the equations. Therefore, to avoid that term, subtract equation 3 from the equation 4. Then minus xy is cancelled, 6y minus 5y equal to y and 16 minus 12 equal to 4. That is, what remaining is here y equal to 4, which means the height of all the rectangles is 4 meters. Now we can substitute y equal to 4 in any of the equations 1 and 2. I am substituting in equation 1, so 5 minus x into 4 equal to 12, which gives x equal to 2. Now everything is done. For the rectangle PQRS, we got the horizontal side is 2 meters and the vertical side is 4 meters. Then obviously, the area equal to 2 into 4, which is equal to 8 meters square. Finally, we are done. No much difficulties are here, just a few algebraic calculations. And we got the solution we are looking for. My Gmail ID and Instagram ID are given in the description. So if you have any doubts or any queries regarding the subject, please feel free to contact. And thank you so much for watching. Meet you in the next video with another problem.